Drag out on both sides. Now drag out on both sides. We got a front here like one uh, left. We got a front here like the other way. We'll drag out on both sides. Do the short, 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 carry, do the short, do the short, do the short, Get the other way. Control the other way. Control the elbow here. Control the elbow here. Take your hand through the hole. Turn, 
Down, get him back down. Get him back down.
Great, jogging, jogging, one down, good job, good job, good work. Jogging, jogging, one down, one down. Five more laps, five more laps, five more laps. One more shoulders out, good loose. Break, line up, line up, line up. Okay, what you guys do, five sprints, hard sprints. Foot fire, sprawl, sprint, down and back. Get five of them. Hard, go. Good, stop, 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 stop. We're gonna stop. Good job, ready? Come on, run, go. Run him, run him, run him, run him, run him. Let's do that one again. Wait on me, wait on me. I say run him, you run him until I say go. Then you fall and go. Okay? Don't stop until I say go. Run him. Come on, run him, run him, run him, run him, run him. Run him. Stretch out a little bit. One down, stretch out, stretch out. Good work, good work. Good rest tonight, you guys. Good rest tonight. A lot of I went and I wrestled hard 
And if I didn't win, the kid knew how bad I wanted to win. He felt it. Man, he felt, he felt how bad I wanted to win. Right? So when, the, when the whistle blows off from the first whistle goes, the last whistle goes, I'm in his back. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to win. Okay? So I always remember that. So as long as you wrestle, as long as you can do, remember that. Remember that. All right? Anybody can be beat. You always got to believe in yourself. Let them, let, them, let them know how bad you wanted to win. That man, that kid wanted to win. Ali, he was coming at me the whole time. Okay? You got to be aggressive. This sport, as you know, you guys been around, you guys been wrestling long enough. Even the little ones, you guys been around. How long have you been wrestling? Four years. So you know that you know, right? You know. It's a tough sport. You know, you're tough people. Don't beat yourself before the match starts. A lot of confidence, a lot of belief, a lot of passion. Make them feel, make them feel your passion. You guys work hard. I can look at, you know you work hard. I think you do an hour drill and let you do your thing. Everybody who's wrestling well, you need technique, you know how to wrestle. Right? So, a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. And that's not overconfidence, that's not cockiness, that's none of that. It's just belief. It's belief, right? When I wrestled, they had to be, I mean, they had to go through levels of my belief. You know, how hard I worked, but I sacrificed not eating like I wanted to eat, hard work, sprint, not so hard. You know, we're not average people. You go, you go to school, we're not average people, right? We're, we're a different breed. And okay? so they got, they got to feel that. Though. They got to feel all those levels that you, all that work you put in. Coaches putting that time in, your parents taking your different practices, all that work you put in, those levels, that's levels of belief that they gotta get through before they can beat me. Okay? I got levels of belief. Still got it. That never goes away. In anything I do. Okay? So just, just remember that. Always remember that. You're good. One thing um, we talk about in this group is there's a difference between physical and the rest of the I'm good. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I'm good. And, and it's just, you know, but, but people will be different. People people got different visions. People got different goals, different wants. You know, I think I have two brothers in Russell. They were done after college. I wasn't done after college. You know what I mean? Just different levels of, different levels of, of people's vision, right? I, I caught a vision when I was 10 that I wanted to be a world champ. And that's, and it, and it showed, right? And so, I think, some people, some people get it faster than others. Some people will stand a sport and just come to practice, and all of a sudden it clicks, and they're the rest. Then they're the dead guy, right? So it just, as long as you keep coming back, man, it's gonna. Sometimes it just, sometimes you need those kids too, right? And it, it just keep people develop at different levels, right? It kind of feels what you want. But I hear what you're saying. But they're all good, man. Is that what you mean? What? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like. Sometimes the kids just come to practice and they go through the motions yeah. and they don't get yeah. anything out yeah. and you get that kid just hammering yeah. them. Yeah. But you know what? Sometimes that flip. Sometimes that kid gets a hammer and that other kid's a nail. A couple of years and this kid's a hammer and this kid's a nail, right? And so it just kind of, sometimes kids burn out. And I, you know, burn out is kind of something that you, you know, you see whatever, whatever. Kind of depends on what, what the parents are doing, whatever. Sometimes that flips, right? As long as the people stand involved and, Sometimes kids catch fire later than other kids. Just kind of, you know. My, my thing is, when I learned, when I first started, I was the smallest kid in the room. I was the smallest kid like this kid. I couldn't, I, I couldn't beat anybody on my practice on my team because I was the smallest kid. And, and then my coach said, man, I would get beat up every day, right? And my kid was just like, my coach was like, just don't quit. Just keep coming back. Just don't quit. And so that, I, then I started seeing results by not quitting. So I didn't quit, right? I just got to come back taking them whoopers every day. I didn't quit. And so I kept gaining on the kid, gaining on the kid, before I could, you know, three, four months, and I started beating the kid. And I'm like, wow, oh, that, that's, that's, that's real. Right. I didn't quit. You know, I could have gave up taking all those like, three months. I was taking whoopers in the room. I would do better than some of the tournaments, but in the room, it's tough. And I just kind of kept getting better, right? Kept getting better, kept growing. And I just didn't quit. 
so I became a hammer. I, I wasn't a nail, I became that hammer. For a long time, I was the nail. I just didn't quit. Who got a question? Look at Gold Medal, you have to have a question for somebody. Somebody's got a question. You guys know everything. Mason, what's your question? I'll ask you, before you, like, went to that turn, that gold, did that gold stuff, yep. Yep. like, what were those practices like? Yeah, they were, they were intense. Intense practices. That level you drilling hard, dressing hard, competition hard. I mean, I was in the room with the Olympic champions. I had to beat the Olympic champions to make the team. Yeah, so I was in the room with a lot of, a lot of good people. And I was a senior with John Smith. You guys know John Smith? You heard John Smith? So I was, we were all good teammates. So I was a senior in college when he was a freshman. Right? So, you know, so when I was a big dog, he was, he was a small team coming in. So I worked with him a lot, taught him a lot. And, uh, Watched him develop over the years, right? So, um, he's been around a lot of good people. Uh, the practice was as tough as you can imagine. They were, they were very tough. They were, uh, they had to be. I mean, the competition was so good. You know? I had to win that Olympic gold medal. I had to beat the defending champion. He was the defending world champion. He won a world title in Newton 87. He was a world champion. Who was that? That was Adam Dariah. Adam Dariah. He beat Dave Schultz in the World Championships in 1987. So I had to beat Dave in Mexico team, and I had to beat him to win the gold medal. He was the same champion. I wasn't favorite. I wasn't favorite in the championship. I wasn't too favorite. What's your mindset? Every time you step on the mat, you came to win. Came to win. I was prepared, right? I think. You're confident, and I talk about confidence, right? But your confidence comes from the work you put in, right? You know when you, when, you, when I've done, I knew that I had done everything in my power as far as preparation to give myself the best chance to win. Everything. I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't, I mean, I did it. I was in great shape. I wasn't getting tired. I couldn't get tired. So I could wrestle the whole match, wrestle as hard as I wanted to wrestle, and not get tired, right? So, I, so that gave me a lot of confidence. My, my technique, I, I pretty much mastered what I do. That's the thing, guys. Not everybody can do certain things, right? I had a good, great single leg, great double leg, prime scary, a couple good throws. I focused on those things, what I, what I could do. I couldn't do arm spins, right? You know, certain things I, I just didn't do. But I focused on what I could do. You know, if, if I said, man, if I could do the things I do better than what he does, then I got a good chance to win. So I just I mastered my technique, mastered things I'm good at. And I just worked. So I, was, I believed in it. And so whatever the result was a result. I'm going to give it everything I had. And so I, I had confidence in that. I wasn't nervous, wasn't scared. I just knew that I prepared myself. And uh, so I, I was going to give myself the best chance to I knew I, I knew I, I knew I was good enough. I just had to go execute. It was still a COVID time now, so. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, you got a question? Yeah, Mason, what's your question? Huh? My like go-to shot? I got, I got a few go-to shots. You know, I love finest carries. You know, I love singles. You know, my, probably my go-to is my single leg. Double double, but singles is probably my, my, my best shot. I love doubles, but uh, singles are probably what I do the most. What do you think, Carl? All right, guys. All right, guys. Hey, good luck tomorrow, man. Go get them. Coach, yeah. we get a picture with all yeah, the guys? Yeah, absolutely.